everyone, this is CC Tan. I know it's been a while since I actually created or made another video for REI Reply or A2P business registration. So I'm actually happy to be back and be able to share with you guys any update regarding 10 DLC or A2P business profile registration. So the video that I'm making now is basically an erratum of what I did last year. So this is the updated 2023 video to make sure that you're doing your business profile registration or campaign registration inside REI Reply the correct way or the updated way. As you guys all aware or know, 10 DLC is a living, breeding organism. So you have to make sure that you keep yourselves updated with any changes from Twilio. So my suggestion or recommendation is subscribe to my channel or like this video to make sure that if there are any updates, you guys will be notified first. All right, let's jump right ahead with what we would have to do for today's video. And I want to share with you this FAQ or little guide about A2P 10 DLC registration. And uh, the very first thing I want to cover is how do you handle basically your business profile registration or how you can actually get it done inside REI reply correctly. One thing that you have to know first is that before you register your business inside REI reply, how it works is that the carriers actually match any legal information up against a legal corporation database. So the only reason why you would probably be rejected is when you register your business inside REI reply is if, if you incorrectly entered any information that is not in in your articles of organization because what happens guys is when you get your llc you will be getting an articles of organization just like what you can see on my screen now for my business and everything that's here is the same information that you should be submitting when you register your business inside rei reply so if there's anything that's inaccurately entered Thus, that's going to be a reason for rejection. The other reasons why your account or why your profile might not be approved is when, of course, your business phone number follows an incorrect format. So please take note of this actual format. Three area codes, dash three phone numbers, dash four numbers. So that should be your correct format. And of course, your business EIN. I have seen a lot of profile got rejected just because they didn't enter the EIN correctly. So it has to make sure that the dash is placed after the first two digits of your EIN. And finally, like I said earlier, your business address should exactly be the same as the one in your articles of organization. The same goes as your actual business name and any information about the authorized representative of your business. Okay, so how do we do that? Or how do we really enter this information inside REI Reply? So let's jump right ahead to REI Reply. I'm actually inside the settings of REI Reply now. From settings, you just have to be under business information. Let me just move this around. Under business information, these are the details you would need to fill out. Legal business name, that is exactly how it should look like in your articles of organization. So that's you know, just copy paste if you can. Definitely the authorized person for my business. So, you know, has to match. JC Tan, CEO. And then here is going to be the same email that I have registered for my business. Phone number should be the same. And at the same time, physical address based on, on your articles of organization. So as you can see, that exactly match everything that's in my articles of organization. And here is the important part of your registration, being able to identify what is the correct business type, whether that's a sole prop or LLC. Of course, for LLC, it has to have an EIN. If you are doing sole prop, definitely you'd have to use whatever social security number you have used to register your sole prop. Okay, so the business industry, of course, since we're in real estate, I'm going to use real estate. And then for business registration number or EIN, like I said earlier, make sure that you follow the, the correct format, which is two numbers, dash, and then the rest of your EIN phone numbers. Then definitely where your operations is. So it's USA and Canada for me, or if it's just USA, it's still going to be USA and Canada. You also have to fill out the authorized representative. Once all of these are correct, you can go ahead and select update information, update address, update information, and now you're ready to proceed with getting your actual business registered. So as you can see, guys, just don't mind any of these results because, you know, I haven't been able to register my business as well. That's because we're operating in the Philippines. So 
pretty much we don't really need this for my training account. All right. So for the business profile, as soon as you updated your information, you can go ahead and click on submit. Mind you guys, I know that a lot of people are asking how long will it take for the business profile to be approved? Honestly, it's depending on the carriers because the carriers are the ones that are reviewing your application. In reality, it's going to be between 24 to 48 hours or even just less than a few minutes and you can see that your profile is already approved. Okay, so here you can see that as soon as they check your details, if it matches, then it's a, it's automatically going to be approved. The next step, which is something that you can actually do as soon as your business profile, even if it's in a review or in progress, you can also start the A2P brand campaign registration already. So all you need to do is just start the registration process. Of course, you will be provided with the fee of like how much does that going to cost? This is a one-time fee. And then at the same time, like the campaign registration, 1654 campaign fee registration as well. So here you will be asked like what A2P campaign use type. I want to reiterate this case type because you don't want to make any mistake in selecting the correct campaign use case because this is one of the reasons why your campaign could be rejected or why your messages wouldn't be sent because we have experienced people who have selected two-factor authentication or different uh, campaign use and they ended up not being able to send message that's because when you select just two-factor authentication the system or the carriers are only expecting you to send message that are related to security questions or two-factor authentication so if you do send a general message the system won't let you because it doesn't fall within the campaign case type that you have selected here so in our case since we're actually doing marketing you do have to make sure that the selected campaign use type is going to be mixed okay just to make this video a little easier i'm going to be providing this guide in the description box but i already have here an example of a campaign description you want to make this sound like your own campaign description but the idea is pretty much the same so you're going to tell them uh, pretty much what your campaign is going to look like what it's going to consist of so since i selected mix i do want to tell um, the carriers that i'll be doing account notifications i'll be doing marketing and i'll be doing that through text and email we'll also be sending them additional text to obtain additional information about any offers that we would have for them or anything related to uh, selling or buying their property so i just copied and pasted that into the campaign description you select next and that's the same thing i just copied the sample message here guys take note the requirements when you you know when you do this definitely for your sample message you have to include this is the change because in the past i did tell you just to select you know just to type in know if you made a mistake but in you know for compliance purposes you do really have to make sure that all of your message actually now includes opt out messages and when i say opt out messages it has to be any of these words either stop stop all unsus unsubscribe cancel and or quit you cannot use any other opt out language Okay, definitely you have to have the client information, like how they opted in. Um, should have sender information, like your name or your company's name. Definitely not include any shortened URL or links because that's going to trigger spam. Should not include any highly spam keywords. I do have a separate video for that, but definitely just type in highly spam keywords for texting. You would be able to see that video. I highly encourage to make sure that you get higher delivery rate to not you know be over 100 characters okay so here is my sample message all i needed to do is you know just copy and paste that again you can change it the way you wanted it to you can do this and you know i can have another sample message again i highlighted this in red make sure your sample message is not solic soliciting information rather it's better if you try to create message that just confirms what you've gotten when they opted into your message. Obviously, when you're doing marketing for real estate, really did not, you know, they really did not opt in to receive our message, but you just want to make it sound like they have filled out a form. So that's my sample message. Then how do end users consent to receive message? Basically, it's just asking you what is your process in place to make sure that, you know, the end user is basically giving you the authority or, you know, consent that they can receive message. So we just want to let the careers know that we do have a website. Um, I'm just going to show you a sample website that we have created for a client. Here, 
we do have this exact verbiage and Twilio is very specific on this same exact verbiage when you guys created your website they have to see that in your opt-in form there is this opt-in terms and conditions you may copy and paste this entire thing because this is exactly what they'll be looking for and that's the same explanation i'm giving them like the end users or any recipients will be able to visit our website and be able to enter the, their information Additionally, they will have to submit a form and then enable a checkbox to receive any future SMS or email from us. Okay, so that's very, very critical that you guys indicate that and that you do have an existing website that actually shows it. Okay, next is definitely if you do have any opt-in keywords, this is optional. You can put it there. You don't, you know, you don't really need needed to, but you can you can do that that's just an example and all you need to do is hit on submit as soon as i hit submit again this is technically gonna take about more than 48 hours most of the time like 24 48 hours as soon as you see that it's already approved because what's gonna happen is you will see two status here so it's gonna say approve and then here there's two status either approve and then the other one is gonna say pending if the other one, which is the campaign status, is actually pending, you can already send messages directly from REI Reply. We've seen people who actually are still under pending status that are able to still send text messages from the system. Although, definitely, the recommendation is for you to wait until it's approved to make sure that there are no unregistered traffic being detected from your account. So here is again the guideline or basic troubleshooting steps that you can perform to make sure that you're able to do your business registration correctly. I think the only thing that I haven't mentioned here is of course before you do your business registration is you have to have a website that exactly matches your same business legal name like the domain name has to match and again after the business profile is submitted make sure that you do proceed with the campaign registration right away okay i hope this video helps and if you do have clarification violent reactions or emotional outbursts please put them in the comment section below and i'd be happy to address any of them again guys thank you so much for helping my my channel if you can share, like, and subscribe, I would definitely appreciate it more. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.